Good morning everyone, Lexi here. Today I'm going to be doing a really short tutorial on how to join two items using Blender. <coughs> um, for things like furniture, this isn't as important because you can mess with a UV map, but for things like hair and clothes where the UV map can be kind of uh, um, complicated, this is actually pretty important. So I've already exported this mesh into Blender. Here it is. And then earlier, I took a hair that had bangs and I deleted everything except for the bangs. Um, oh, and this small vertice that like escaped. Did I just see a vertice? No. Okay, so and then I deleted everything except for the bangs. Now, as much as there you are, sorry. Edit mode, come over here. Delete edges, delete edges. Okay, so now I've done that. And as much as I like the way this hairstyle looks, I'm actually trying to add these bangs onto this hair so that this hair will have bangs. Okay, so file, save as. Bangs only. Come into your... Uh, mesh here, file, append. Um, you want to find your bangs only mesh. Bangs only. Go to object. This is your your bangs. Link append. And here it is. Um, I think this... Yeah, so this geostate is 0, 0, 0, 0. I'm going to add it to the other or sorry, this GOEM is 0000. zero, zero, zero. I want to add this to the other one that is four zeros. There you go. Um, if the GOEMs are different, um, sometimes you'll get a, a texture problem, so I would just mess with connecting it to different parts of the hair and see which one looks the best. So, click this, hold down shift, click this, object join there you have it uh, make sure that all your GOEM numbers are correct file save as here with bangs save as blender file come in here to Sims 4 Studio import mesh here with bangs And there you have it. Um, and then you could go in and like uh, flatten this out or pull this part back just a little bit if you really wanted to. But that's it guys. A really short tutorial today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.